The Ospreys will be looking to book a place in the last eight of the Challenge Cup this weekend and with it a home quarter final when they face Leon at the Liberty Stadium on Sunday afternoon. Join us now to look ahead to the game with Kieran Fonatier and Dan Evans. Kieran, last time we caught up, you just made a debut up in Glasgow. Have you thought out since then yet? Yeah, I'm starting to adjust the things and uh, the boys have all helped me get up to speed and I feel like I'm starting to get there now. I'll see. It's a, a long year for you, think about it, the time that you've played Super Rugby, ITM Cup, or Mike to 10 Cup as it is now, and then you're into Pro 12 and Europe. It seems never ending for you, but you've got a few months yet to go. Yeah, um, it's always, you always feel a little bit refreshed, I suppose, when you come into a new environment. Um, no matter what the environment is, and coming to the Ospreys, it sort of, I don't know, gave me a wee sort of spring in my step, and I, yeah, I feel, I feel fresh again. And it's been a good run of games since you arrived, obviously, you're unbeaten in that time, you know, but a is that all down to you, or is there a bit more to it than just that? I don't think that's down to me, mate. Uh, I thought I had a bit of a curse, because when I got here, games were getting cancelled left, right and centre. But uh, yeah, we, we seem to be going pretty good at the field at the moment, but I think that's more to do with the boys than me. And what do you make of it so far, the environment, the team and the competitions that you're playing at the moment? Yeah, I'm loving it. Um, everyone's just been really accepting of me and, and, and helped me get up to speed with everything. So in the competitions, um, I think you're really starting to see our team gel and... and Start, start to hopefully do something special. I know it's a question you've been asked elsewhere today already, but you're looking at the strength and depth and the back line and the way players are moving in and out and lots of different options available. Is that a good thing or a bad thing for someone who's just arrived and wants to be making a name for themselves in the Northern Hemisphere? No, it's, it's, it's always a good thing. Um, you never sort of want to come to a team and, and just get thrown a jersey without trying to earn it. So this is the competition amongst everyone's awesome for the squad. Um, can be tough for the coaches, but good for the coaches as well. Like um, it's it's some good competition. Everyone's excited about it. And what you do know, with us competing on three fronts in three different competitions at the moment, and games coming thick and fast, there's going to be plenty of game time available for you between now and the end of the season, whichever way selection goes. Yeah, hopefully. Um, I want to just keep trying to put my best foot forward, and every every opportunity I get, I want to try to make the most of it. With a big freeze forecast this weekend, we have a flash sale on the Osprey's micro fleece in the club shop. Normally £54.99, we've cut the price down to just £35 to help you beat the cold weather this January. Head in store or online to shop.ospreysrugby.com now for more information. This new year, why not join us at the Liberty Stadium with our supporters special of two for one on hospitality boxes. Buy a hospitality box for Sunday's Challenge Cup game against Leon, and we'll throw in the Glasgow match absolutely free. You can watch both games in style for just £79 per person plus VAT. Call the hospitality team now on 01792616488 or email hospitality at ospreysrugby.com to book your place. Games keep on coming thick and fast. We look to Europe this weekend. Leon is home at the Liberty Stadium on Sunday. How are you looking forward to it? Yeah, you know it's been a busy period, but uh, you know the games we you know we thrive on. So yeah, it's a uh, it's a new tournament, and you know we're in a good place in it. So yeah, hopefully we can pick up another victory on Sunday. Everybody else seems to be getting a week off here or there, but not you. Even when you were scheduled to have a week off, you end up being called in last minute. So you're playing game after game. How do you keep on going? Uh, I'm not sure to be honest with you, but uh, yeah, it's, I'm just happy to be playing week in, week out, and uh, yeah, I hope that can continue. And uh, you know, when we're playing like we are, all the boys want to play, so it's an uh, exciting time. So you know, hopefully we can continue on uh, on Sunday and then keep going in this competition. And over Christmas as well, you've been trying your hand out in the wing as well, you know. So making an impression there as well. How do you enjoy that? Yeah, I suppose they wanted a bit of extra pace on the wings, so uh, I, I was happy to provide that. And yeah, it was, uh, it was a new experience for me, and uh, it was something I was uh, you know, excited to do. But it was nice uh, being back in uh, at number 15 on uh, last weekend. And obviously, you've been on a good run. We've uh, picked up eight wins on the bounce across three competitions. That's put us in a good position at the start of 2017. But 
perhaps you could say this is where the hard work really starts now that we've got people hunting us down. Yeah, you know, everyone's looking out and saying about all our, you know, unbeaten run, but it's not, we're not really focused on that. We're thinking of the next game rather than the last, and we know what we've got to do to, uh, to pick up the victories. And uh, the way we've been playing and the confidence in the squad, it's, you know, we're showing on the pitches, and hopefully we can uh, continue the over the next couple of months. And what are you expecting from Leon on Sunday? I suppose it's a difficult one to predict, you know, given the way the pool lies. Their game was postponed last weekend. You don't, don't really know what to expect, perhaps. No, you know, when we played out there, it was a, you know, they were a tough team to play against. Even though we had the bonus point victory, it was, you know, it was a really tough slog out there. And you know, they'll always come. You know, the, the French teams always have a big pack, and they'll be a you know, strong physical team. So yeah, we're expecting a you know, physical game. So hopefully, you know, we can sort of move them around and play like we have been playing, and you know, like I said, pick up the victory like that. That's all for now. Don't forget, a place in the last eight of the Challenge Cup is up for grabs. So make sure you get your tickets for Sunday afternoon now from all the usual outlets and support the cause.